Hi, I'm Wheeler Winston Dixon, James Ryan Professor of Film Studies at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, and this is Frame by Frame. What can you say about somebody who can do it all? Jean Cocteau, the famous French filmmaker, was also a muralist, a poet, a playwright, a novelist, but in a series of transcendent, beautiful films that seem to speak to every new generation with equal intensity, starting with his pioneering surrealist classic Blood of a Poet in 1930, and then moving through Orpheus in 1950, and his last film, Testament of Orpheus, in 1960, along with a series of other beautiful films such as Beauty and the Beast in 1946, Jean Cocteau created a cinematic language that was all his own with reverse motion shots, superimpositions, heavily costumed films, but films that basically per were pervaded with a sense of the fantastic, the unreal, and the bizarre. Cocteau's films are instantly recognizable by his, his visual signature, which is one of absolute splendor and beauty in all of his works. He's the primary fantasist and fairy tale teller of the cinema, and at the same time, he managed to make it look all so easy. He always speaks to the young, as he did back in the 1930s and 40s when he made these films, and they still resonate today. When I screen them in class, people are astounded by the, the audacity of them. And also, of course, Cocteau's films have influenced lots of other later films, like The Matrix, which uses a lot of the same thing about entering through mirrors. That was Cocteau's idea originally. So the next time you're looking for an interesting film, try Cocteau's Beauty and the Beast or the Orphic Trilogy, Blood of a Poet, uh, Orpheus, 1950, and Testament of Orpheus. That's Jean Cocteau, and this is Frame by Frame.